Hey, what's up? This is another Life in a Bomb podcast with the one and only D-Man. And today I'm here with a special guest, a good friend of mine from way back, Mrs. Maya. Uh, you want to say what's up? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she just said, hey. So we about to be talking about what to expect from a real man. All right, so let me ask you, what 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 do you expect from a real man? Or before we even get there, what is a real man to you? Um, well, a real man to me, basically, is a man that's not running around out here cheating on people. I mean, true, everybody says, oh, well, all niggas cheat. But that doesn't true. Niggas cheat, but a real man is not going to run around cheating on you or doing the most and of course you know also what I expect for a, from a real man would be somebody who's going to provide and not take from you it's one thing for him to been providing or he told me had time to help you but it's another thing for him to just be like oh I don't know if I need that I need this and they never do anything for you not once right. and then when you do ask him for something she was like, oh, I don't got it. But he has it for everybody. Yeah. Facts. And then, of course, another thing I expect from a real man is for them to take care of their children if they have them. Not just be there on the weekends, take pictures. And, I mean, I just want to into these things. Push them something. Help them understand things in life. Right. Yeah, when it's things young enough, teaching the ABCs, tie their shoes. Like little stuff. My dad taught me how to tie my shoes. Mm. Like realistically, a lot of dads don't do that. It's like that's up to the moms to potty train and teach them to school when they're kids, all that extra stuff. Makes sense. And of course, I of course expect for a good man to have an all around good character. Because realistically, a person with bad character, they're, they're probably going to treat you bad anyway. Because that's just in their character, that's who they are. Is a person has a real treat people bad. But if you actually think about running around treating everybody good, like not just you, you see them in daily life, they pass by somebody and they're just like, hey, how are you doing? Or whatever happens, and they're not running around here with these, with a little mean mug on and ready to punch whoever's closest. I don't know, I think it's, it's really a difference, but at the same time, of course, different females expect different things, I mean, especially in that, you know, different females want different things. Right. It's a difference because, you know, some females want that type of attention, which of course, if no man's going to make time for you, decides to, because realistically, if he wants you, he's going to make time for you. He's not going to just be like, oh, well, I don't have time, I'm busy. Realistically, you got time to do other stuff, or you have time for other people. Facts. And then, of course, you know, someone then they expect for you know, the man to just be providing the money and the payments to keep it pushing. I agree. It just really depends on, honestly, depends on the feedback. I agree. I agree. Just to even um, feed on that, um, a real man, like you said, someone who's there for their partner, you know, who doesn't take, who doesn't just only take, but they give as well. You know, you have to give in order to receive. So I feel like okay. if you're a real man, you're there for your partner. You don't judge them. You don't look down on them. You guys bring out the best in one another. You guys both grow. You're there for them um, spiritually, emotionally, physically, you know. And you, you add life to them. You bring um, good things to them. You develop their character. And you guys can get things done as a team. You know, I feel like when you're with a man, he's supposed to appreciate you, respect you, be there for you through the good times and the bad times, not cheat, and do his thing to reassure you or keep you assured that he's there for you and he has your best interest at heart. But I feel like when you're dealing with a man and he's not bringing those things to the table, like you said, someone who's there for their kids, how are you going to say you're a real man and if you have kids, you're not there for your kids like that? 
kids barely right. see you, barely talk to you like that. Um, you're just around when you want to be around. Uh, being a parent is 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 not a is not a leisure thing. It's an everyday thing. It's a lifestyle. So I feel like if you're really out here and you're going to be a man, you have to step up to that plate. It's easy to want to lay down with a woman and get her pregnant. But when it comes to the responsibility that comes after the fact, a lot of guys want to run away. And those are not traits of real men. I feel like media, music, certain things, other guys who have not fully developed in the mind confuse younger guys and other men around the world to believe that's the way to go. And it leaves the women we were with and our children, if we do have any, in a rut. You know, so I feel like we have to step up to the plate. So in your in your dealings with guys and meeting men, have you ever felt like you've met a real man? Yes. Okay. And of course, with that real man, of course, he's different than, basically, I said a few different real men. But of course, they're all different and special in their own way. So of course, that kind of makes them hard to find because realistically, like, sometimes it's a, these different real men are full of different specific women, of course. Mm-hmm. But they all, of course, have that one thing in common, of course, that respect and love factor for women. The whole the fact that they do not cheat, period. Absolutely not. Like, one of my friends, we broke up. He has a girlfriend. She has a little baby. And realistically, when I tell you this man doesn't think about cheating, nothing like that. And of course, you know, we worked together at one point in time. We don't even talk on that level. We never even bring it towards that. Not only because I respect their relationship, but because of course he respects it too. Because realistically it takes two. And if, you know, he wanted something to happen, he would have said something. Right. Realistically. Or act, he or act not upon it. come off to me like that in any way. That's real. And then, of course, he provides for his family. Like, now they have a little baby. They all live together. He's born 24-7. He's not there part-time. He teaches his son things. And then he also has a great personality. He's not running around being new people just because he can. Mm. That's real. That's real. I don't know, of course, I guess that's really what makes real men hard to find, because realistically, real men are not for everybody, and then at the same time, you know, they're for a general, different, specific woman. Right. Like, you can't say, oh, well, he's not a real man because he, he does this and he does that. It's just not disrespectful, harmful to any one of the characters. I feel like, you know, maybe that's just something that you don't like. In general, you need to find your own man because I want to ask you a question because I think one thing that a lot of people have misconstrued in life is um, the things that a man does. The job a man does, does that make him a real man or not? No, as long as he's out here making his money and being able to do what he has to do with it opposed to what he wants to do with it. Right. Why like he can literally work at McDonald's, that doesn't make him less of a man. Facts. Or he can have no job at all and he's getting his money um, allegedly. And that's his business. But realistically, as long as he's doing what he has to do with it and not what he wants to do with it, especially like as far as maybe he has kids or as far as maybe he wants to build himself up and then you're, or he was a woman that's trying to take from that and you're like, oh, well, you're not a real man so you'll never have money like that. Baby, lady, baby girl, you need to secure your own bag. Facts. Because like realistically, of course, I've always been the one that, you know, has her own bag in the relationship. My thing is I can stand on my own two feet. I raise my children. Mm-hmm. By my damn self. But realistically, you know, most of the men that I've ever dated, they either want to do what they want to do with it, or of course, as my thing is, I'm not going to tell you as a grown-ass man to do something that you know that I need done. Because I feel like if you're going to do it, you're going to do it without me asking you to. Right. 